Cheerio! Welcome back guys to another tier list. Today we're gonna be doing a proper British tier list today. What's up guys? Welcome back to another tier list. Today we're doing knives. First up we got the throwing knife. Um, you would get this from just regular chests. You don't really use it. Throwing used to be a class, now it's just ranged. And they're kind of fun, I guess. Easier. Next up, we got the poison knife, which is just the knife, but poison. From the jungle, I'm pretty sure. You get it from crafting it from stingers. I don't ever use these, to be honest. I think it's a D tier. It's pretty shit. You would likely find this in Birmingham. Proper British place. Alright, next up we got the bone throwing knife. And uh, now that we're on the throwing knives. This one... I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I've never used these before. I've never seen them before either. You craft these from fossils. You would probably see this one in Manchester, I believe. A little proper Manchester knife right here, boys. Alright, um, uh, this is probably like a... Eh, it looks kind of cool. I, I'm gonna throw it C. Kind of cool because they pierce through like five people, but I've never used them. I don't know. Next up, let's go with the chain knife that you get from bats or something. And this is a really rare drop. Nobody ever really gets this. This is a little bit of a more of a ranged knife. You would get this one. This is, I think this is a proper London knife right here, boys. I, th I think this is this is one you would. You, of at least I don't get shot up in moths. All right, uh, this one's probably like B tier. I like this weapon, but it gets outclassed pretty fast, so nothing above B, I would say. All right, for the last pre-hard mode knife, we got a frost dagger fish. I kind of gave up on this. I figured I was including the other throwing knives. I'll include a, a fish. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't. This. I feel like I would get stabbed with this in like northern England, where it's like cold or something, I don't know. Um, frost dagger fish, I don't ever use this. This is like, yeah, this is pretty shit. Yeah. Nobody ever fishes for this. Um, I would throw it below, or I throw it above the poison knife because the poison knife is from the jungle and the jungle's a lot harder than the snow biome, so yeah, that, that's my thought process. Uh, actually I lied, there's one more knife that technically is a knife, the uh, Bloody Machete. Uh, you get this during Halloween. Uh, I looked it up, by the way, machetes are knives. So for the people who are about to leave a comment, yes, this is, this is, a, this is a knife. Uh, machete's a very long knife, according to Google. Bloody Machete is an interesting boomerang that you get from Halloween. Uh, it, it's kind of cool. I think I'll throw it. It's, it's a unique weapon, I guess. I think this is a proper, this is a proper knife. You could probably kill like five people in fucking New, Bre New Brunswick with it. Is that Canada? Whatever. Um, let's go with the flying knife next. This, this one, this one could be pretty deadly. I feel like if you're you're walking around in London late at night from the pub, come, you, you coming? Br I can't do a British accent. I apologize. Uh, that one dude, I, I, I'm sorry, bro. I, I, I let you down with my British accent. Uh, anyways, uh, so if you're walking around from a uh, late night, uh, came from the pub, you're in London probably, because that's where most people live, I think. Uh, you're walking home and all of a sudden a flying knife comes out of nowhere, like, you know you're fucked. Uh, this one's a pretty good one. Honestly, S tier. I think this is an S tier knife right here. Flying knife is so fun, I love it. You get it from the Mimics. Pretty nice knife. All right, next up we got the Psycho Knife. Uh, I think this is what uh, Jeff the Killer used. Jeff the Killer? Jack the Ripper. Oh my god, how did I get those two mixed up? Uh, Jack the Ripper, I believe he's, uh, he's a proper British serial killer. British. Where you get a bottle of water. All right, um, I'm gonna throw the, I'm gonna throw the Psycho Knife. This one, this one's an interesting one. I, I'll throw it A tier. I've, I've never really used it when I melee, but it turns you invisible, and that's pretty goofy and a little fun, a little fun troll trolling pop bob moment. You can just go invisible and stab someone on the streets of London. 
All right, let's go with the Shadow Flame knives next. Um, this is another ranged, sort of ranged, more ranged oriented knife. Uh, make, that causes the Shadow Flame debuff on certain enemies. You get this from the Goblin Army pre-hard mode, or as I like to say, um, Birmingham uh, knife. <laughs> this one's, honestly, I would throw it S tier. I'll throw it below the Flying Knife, I think, but it, it's a good one. It's a good one. I love the Shadow Flame Knife. It's really good. All right, the last knife we got is the Vampire Knives. Now, I'm gonna be honest, everybody loves the Vampire Knives. I'm a bit of a hater, but if we're talking a Knives tier list, they gotta be yes. So like, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be insane and say they're not. Uh, vampire Knives, you'd probably get this in like fucking Scotland. Bro, I feel like this is better than... I feel like uh, I feel like the Vampire Knives are better than anything in England, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I'll throw it S tier. I think above the Shadow Flame Knives. Um, you know, just to piss people off, I'm gonna throw it below the Flying Knife. It, it, the Vampire Knives are not that good, guys. It, you, yeah, you heal. You can heal by pressing H on your keyboard. Like, I don't know. Whatever. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I haven't been posting that much. Um, once it hits December, I should, I will probably be posting more and maybe performing my comeback live stream. Yippee! It'll perhaps be monkey themed. Yeah, I keep using uh, code Obino in the Fortnite item shop, even though I don't play Fortnite on this channel. Goodbye.